Every year we generate 290 million tonnes of waste in the UK alone, most of which ends up in landfill sites or household waste sites such as this one. If we continue to generate so much waste, we are going to end up buried in it, and that is going to be pretty smelly. But thankfully there are a number of companies across the UK which are using some remarkable techniques to turn our old waste into some very useful products. I'm off to London to investigate. Well here I am, sat in an iconic black cab in the heart of London. But why the fish and chips? Well, did you know that it's possible to turn old used cooking oil used for frying food into fuel that can power this very black cab and even your cars at home? But how on earth does that work? Let's go and find out. There are only a few biodiesel factories here in the UK and we have got an exclusive backstage pass to check this one out. So Nigel, there's obviously a lot going on here, but how does it all work? How do you turn cooking oil to biodiesel? Very easily. Yeah? It's very simple. We purify the oil first, we take out all the water and particulates, the bits that are left in it. Yeah. So it's filtered, comes through and gets heated up to about 60 degrees. So here we have it. We have our very own London taxi filling up with biodiesel this very second. But it doesn't just stop at running cars. Old cooking oil can be used to heat swimming pools, run big office buildings and even heat a whole prison. How amazing is that? And it just gets better. Just one litre of used cooking oil can be used to generate enough electricity to make 240 cups of tea. Right. Anyone want a cup of tea? So how can you guys help recycle from your very home? Well, we've put some brilliant ideas on the Blue Peter website of how you can compost your old food waste, recycle your unwanted things, and also some great arts and crafts ideas. So I'm Emily Wood, but why should you guys want to watch me on Blue Peter with Helen, Barney, and Barney the dog? Well, let me tell you why. Whatever the activity, whatever the topic, and whatever crazy things you guys ask me to do, I promise to join you on the learning journey by getting my hands dirty, my knees scuffed, and by exploring all the weird and wonderful things the world has to offer. I've interviewed a number of different people from all walks of life, including huge international rugby players who are literally double the size of me. But nothing phases me and I'm not afraid to ask anyone a question to make sure you guys get the answers you need to know. My arts and crafts abilities don't just stop at a bit of paint and glue. I've made a man-sized teacup out of paper mache, I've created some Egyptian costumes for a fancy dress party, and I've even made a pirate ship go-kart. I just believe that the messier you get, the more fun you have. My adventurous side has seen me climb the highest mountain in Sri Lanka. I went to India when I was 17 years old to help build a school for some children in need. I've jumped out of an aeroplane and I've battled the waves white water rafting. To put it bluntly, I'm a complete adrenaline junkie. I have a love for life and I approach everything with passion, enthusiasm and extreme positivity. And even when things don't quite go to plan, I always come up with a smile on my face. So guys, please pick me.